you. Keep it going for all the comics you've seen tonight, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. I got a lift passenger waiting in the car, so let's go. I, uh, I do, I drive a lot. Uh, I get road rage all the time. You guys get road rage? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they got road rage back when they were riding a horse. You know, just like a guy like, where the fuck did you learn to ride a horse? Just pissed off, right? Look at the cock on that stallion. Someone's compensating, right? Usually it just makes you look stupid. Like uh, I saw this guy got cut off by a truck and he pulled up next to the guy and he like pointed and he went like, yeah. And I'm sure he means, hey, suck my dick. But it looked like, hey, you. I want to suck your dick. Yeah, pull over. I want to suck your dick and milk your prostate. Just pull it over. Sometimes it gets dangerous, though. Road rage. I had one recently. I flipped this guy off, and he was pissed. He's like, pull over. And he got out, and he was huge. I'm like, fuck. I'm going to get my ass kicked in the school zone. Oh, no. I didn't know what to do. So I hit him with my car, and yeah, it turned out to be a real softy, actually, right? All that tough guy act, he just bounced off the hood like a baby deer. It was nothing. Yeah. I had a friend recently asked me, a lot of guys get this question, right? He said to me, he's like, would you suck a dick for a million dollars? Yes. I would. With gusto. Are you kidding me? I would guitar slide into sucking a dick for a million dollars, all right? I would suck a dick to win truth or dare, okay? One thing I've, uh, one thing I've learned over the last couple years, can't always get what you want. Like, I really want to get a bidet, but they were all sold out of bidets. So I had to get a water pick. And, yeah, so it's pretty great because uh, now my teeth are also clean. So real good. Yeah, still never had my butthole licked though. Yeah, never been. I've eaten ass, but then when it's my turn, it's like, oh, my Uber's here. You know, like I gotta go. <laughs> it's not fair. Not fair. Look, I know I'm an ugly guy. I know it, all right? Like, I went to a sex club once, and they just handed me a mop. So. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not really actually trying to date right now. Uh, I mean, for starters, it's impossible to find a girl in Portland who isn't a witch. It's, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. The other night, there was a full moon, and I saw my neighbor. She was charging her crystal meth. And, yeah, I, this girl broke up with me. She said that my aura was off. Yeah, I'm like, it's not a fucking aura. You have an astigmatism. What are you, that's not, you're going to break up with me for the same reason you can't drive at night? That's not fair. And I'm not the kind of guy that can, like, meet a girl online and, like, on Tinder and go home with her, you know? Uh, mainly because I have severe sleep apnea. Yeah, I have an apnea 60 times an hour. That means once a minute I go. That's what I'm bringing to a one night stand, guys. It's like, oh, I hope you like sleeping with your dad. Uh, you know, I got the mask now. I got the mask and the hose and some women are into it because I look terminal. Uh, right? Like, it's a good deed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can tell because when we're finished, she pulls the plug. That's how I know. I'm actually, I'm trying to get into shape. Uh, well, not really trying. Uh, just hoping, really. Just <laughs> hoping. I, I start eating salad, and uh, I'm getting kind of crazy with my salad. Like, first I was adding nuts. Then I started adding craisins. Now I got M&M's in there, and it's not good. I'm putting ranch dressing on trail mix, guys. And I'm a big snacker, so I'm trying to switch out chips for popcorn, you know? Because popcorn only has like 70 calories per cup. 
but I don't really eat popcorn by the cup. <laughs> I need to know how many calories are in 20 minutes of popcorn. <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> I just want to lose enough weight that I can shop at Goodwill. That's all I want. Because I can't, because I'm big, you know? And fat people don't give up anything that fits. We don't. If I find a 3XL shirt at Goodwill, that means that somebody had a heart attack. That's what it means. I heard earlier this year, you know, they did the first pig heart transplant into a person. Did you guys hear about this? Yeah, and he did die. Uh, of course, <laughs> right? He had a bad heart and his doctor was like, oh, let's replace it with pork. How's that? <laughs> it's gonna work though, I'm telling you, I know. I remember I learned in science class that uh, pigs are the most similar anatomically to an American. <laughs> so it's gonna work. <laughs> I had a girl tell me once that she likes to have sex with fat dudes. Yeah, because I guess the belly kind of rubs on the clit. Yeah. Hey, it's great news for fat dudes, but I mean, I don't want that to be like my move, you know? Like, a woman's like, what are you gonna do to me? And I'm like, how about I rub my fat gut on your labia? How does that sound? Huh? It vibrates when I'm hungry. You want some? All I've eaten is popcorn, come on. <laughs> I tried anal beads once. Yeah, hey, just to see if I wanted to buy them, all right? And I, I think anal beads, I think that'd be a great gender reveal trick, you know? You know, because what's more surprising, really? Hey, you know, you show up to the party, you got them already in, you know? <laughs> You're mingling, you know? And then, uh, then you tie him to a doorknob like a baby tooth. And you slam the door, the beads fly out. No matter what color they are, this room's getting repainted, you know? Anal beads. <laughs> uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know if I've ever uh, made a woman come. Yeah, I don't know. I think that I have, you know. Girls have said that I have. Uh, on the survey that I email after, they say it. But I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a guy. I don't know shit. I wouldn't know a woman was faking an orgasm if she said, I'm coming, and then winked at me. You know? Don't know. I faked it once. I did. Because I got too winded. I was just tuckered out, <laughs> all right? So I just, I just made a face. I was like, ah! <laughs> that's, that's not my face. Uh, that's not my real face, by the way. <laughs> I know, because uh, you ever been jerking off, and uh, right before you finish, the laptop dies, and you're just stuck looking at your own reflection? <laughs> And the screen just, uh, it's your face, right? Uh, what an awful time to remind myself of my dad, you know? It's terrible. I don't know though, man. I used to think I had good sexy dirty talk uh, until I watched the tape. It's, it's not, my dirty talk sounds like I'm making small talk with a stranger on an elevator. Just the whole thing is just, warm. <laughs> All right, I'm Brian Bixby. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Have a good night.